Hey there. So it's Friday again, which if you're new here, first of all, welcome, subscribe, it's free. Second of all, every Friday while it's cold outside, I live in Ohio, I like to talk about something BMX related, just something that I want to talk about and kind of ramble, rant, whatever, make a talking video on Fridays. So in this week's video, we're going to be taking a suggestion from a comment on another video because in a different video this week I asked for suggestions of what to talk about and I like this one so we're going to do it. I'm going to read the comment right now. It's from Godzilla. Zilla. I'm sure that's supposed to say Godzilla, but it's got a one for the eye. Um, he's from Australia. He's always in the comments. It's nice to have a conversation. Um, he asks, I guess it's question and suggestion he asks any major influences in your riding i guess any pros that inspired you or just sessions with friends expanding on tricks or is it just an idea that pops into your head and have to see if it's possible while you solo session i guess that also encompasses riding alone slash with friends so we'll start at the very beginning any major influences in your riding and we can kind of break this up into when I first started riding and kind of now. Um, when I first started riding, honestly, the only influences that I had were the people that I actually rode with all of the time because I didn't watch videos. I didn't, I honestly don't remember even knowing that DVDs or full length videos even existed. But I do know that, I did know that there was videos, but I can only remember two or three videos that I ever actually watched. One, or there was a couple from one that was the Scotty Kramer felt videos that were all filmed at that concrete park where he's doing flare to five taps and crazy ice pick stuff like that. Um, I guess honestly right now I never really made the connection between the fact that he was doing five tap stuff and ice pick stuff in the, those videos. And I like doing five taps and ice picks and stuff, but I don't think that that's exactly where that came from because most of it came from my friends like big jt he would all we would always ride he would do five taps and ice pick stalls and then Corey jones my friend would always do ice pick stalls and just stuff like that but it mostly came from the people that i actually rode with um I do remember watching the 2006 Dirty East contest at the Flow Skate Park. I remember that being like one of the the only videos I ever watched or cared about. And still to this day, it's like the craziest contest video ever. But yeah, so that's back when I first started riding. Nowadays, major influences in my riding are really anything that I see that's like that sparks an idea or anything like that um there's so many creative riders out there obviously I ride for Carl at nowhere he's one of those people that a lot of the stuff he does makes me think and I it translates into oftentimes completely different things than what he's doing but it's still that creative spark uh Montana Ricky what's up dude if you're watching this um then obviously there's the ones Eric Elstra and Tate. Um, who else is there? Tim Knoll. Just all those dudes who are doing like super creative stuff kind of influence me to want to do creative things on my own, but with my own like view on things. Um, realistically, it's never okay so we'll move on i'll stop right there i'm trying to keep this short at least as short as we can because i could literally sit here and talk about this for hours um any pros that inspired you or just sessions with friends expanding on tricks tricks that pop into your head just the short answer yes <laughs> um i mean i guess you could say scotty kramer in those felt videos kind of influence things a little bit maybe subconsciously but there was never a time where i was like where i saw a pro like perfect example of this is mike aiken back in the day people would see mike aiken ride and they'd be like i want to be mike aiken there's never really a time where i was like 
I want to do that. I want to be just like him. I want to dress. <laughs> I never looked at anybody like that, and I never saw tricks and was, saw someone do tricks and then was like, I have to do that. I have to learn that. Never like that. It was more riding at the skate park with friends and then just doing what, uh, like what came to us naturally, which is probably why there's so many dumb things that I do. Like a lot of the stuff that was fads, I never knew about, but I was doing like on my own at different periods of time, like whether it be before or after, like I just posted that video on my Instagram where I was doing, uh, I jumped the spine and I go cross footed and then I do a cross footed tire tap and then I go back and uncross my feet. That started in my driveway when I very first started riding. I have no idea how, but I figured out I could cross my feet and then I figured out, holy crap, I could probably do like a, a whiplash out of it. And I remember being super excited about it, calling my neighbor, telling him about it and having him be like, no way, that's impossible. And Dustin, if you watch this, you said it, I remember it. <laughs> um, either way though, like, and then chainless, being chainless too. I broke my chain and just like didn't bother putting on a new one and rode chainless for a while. That was a fad at one point in time. But there's these things that I had absolutely no idea about. I was just kind of doing them. So it's kind of cool to see it. I mean, I really don't think that I knew about them. Maybe I did. I don't know. Either way, though, pros that inspired you. Um, I'm trying to think of any pros from back then. I mean, I had subscriptions to ride. But, like, I honestly didn't read them. I just looked at the pictures when I was in school because I thought it was cool. I didn't know who anybody was. That's the other thing. I really didn't know who anyone was. I knew, like, uh, I knew Scotty Kramer, and I knew, like, the, the super pro people like that. But other than that, I didn't really get super involved with the things. Um, I literally have a stack of DVDs. I just talked about how I never watched uh, full length videos and still to this day there's there's I think three or four full length videos that I've ever watched um, and that was like recently so so when it comes to when I first started riding it was 99% the people I was riding with influencing things and then when it comes to today um, realistically it's a bit of everything oh sorry I keep burping and doing awkward things uh realistically it's a bit of ideas popping into my head it's a bit of videos that i watch um i take influence and inspiration from literally everything like i'll watch a video and i'll take something completely like non-related to anything that i do and i'm thinking and it like so for some reason sets off the light bulb and a trick idea comes to mind like and that happens on instagram all the time it's never really one specific person there's just tons of different anyone i just any content that i'm watching i'm always like thinking of how i can relate things and change things and do things for myself um let's see and another huge one that I can remember just from like last year, the year before when we first started doing lip lords, I watched the the props best of this year, whatever it was videos that they had on YouTube. I would watch those and kind of look for things that looked cool to me and think of how I could do them myself or different ways to do things on my own. Um, not so much anymore. I really don't watch that many videos anymore, but the ones that I do watch, I try to take inspiration from those or I just watch things to enjoy. I don't know. At this point, I'm rambling, so let's try and get back on track. Um, ideas that pop into your head and see if it's possible while you solo session. There is a lot of this because usually I don't like filming Lip Lord stuff when there's a ton of people at the skate park just because... I don't want to spend hours filming while I could be riding with people. A lot of times, though, it'll start where I get to the skate park and I'll be filming or I have an idea for a trick 
and I'm trying that trick, and I'm trying to film it, and it ends up taking hours to do it, and that then tons of people show up, so I end up filming with tons of people there because I just literally can't give up on a trick ever. And things go that way, but oftentimes it starts with an idea, and I go to film something or just have an idea and I go to try it, and then, like it doesn't work whatsoever or something else works like in the middle of it. Like one that I can remember very vividly is the, the turn down lawnmower ice pick stall. That was supposed to be a lawnmower ice pick bar spin. And the one where I did it, I couldn't let go and I couldn't, I just, I just couldn't get to the right position. And then all of a sudden I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. And I'm, I'm keeping my balance from falling and it's like turning me. And then all of a sudden I'm like standing up and I just crank the turn down and then land it. And it was like, holy crap. Like it was supposed to be a lawnmower ice pick bar spin and it ended up being a lawnmower ice pick turn down or a power mower ice pick, whatever you want to call it. That's usually how things go. Or if I'm riding with someone, like if me and Sponge are at the skate park riding, one of us will be trying something and then we'll like observe the other person and try and think of different ways to help pull the trick. And sometimes Sponge will come up with ideas for me based on something that I'm trying that's not really working and things go that way. So, I mean, to answer the question or suggestion, it's really everything nowadays. But when I first started riding, it was mostly just my friends and riding with my friends and just doing whatever we felt like doing. It was never, it was never like, I need to be like this guy and I need to do this trick, this trick, and this trick. Um, we're already 12 minutes, 45 seconds in, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully I don't think of something as soon as this video ends or as soon as I stop filming. Um, hopefully that answers your questions and suggestion. If you have any ideas for things that we could talk about, put those in the comments below. Put what inspires you while you're I or put what inspires what you do while you're riding in the comments below. And let's make that a conversation as well. I want to hear back. The whole point of this isn't just to talk about myself and talk about the things that you guys want to hear from me. I hate that aspect of things. I just want to make things a conversation. And the only way to do that is to put something out there for people to respond to and give back so that we can have that back and forth. So leave, if there's any inspirations, whether it be people, pros, tricks, videos, things like that, just leave what influences your riding in the comments below. And if you have any ideas for future Friday talking videos, leave those in the comments below. Um, I'm going to end this with a list of people that I would say inspire me the most right now since that I didn't have that when I was first started riding. First of all, Carl Hinckley. Then you've got Eric Elstrand, Tim Knoll, Tate Roskelly. Um, Matt Berenger posts a lot of stuff on Instagram that I really that I enjoy and take Instagram or take inspiration from. Um, Montana Ricky. Who else is there? Uh, Rider in Black, Dion. I met him at Interbike. He posts so much different stuff that I just like, light bulbs are constantly going off when I watch his videos. And right now I have screenshots of some of his tricks in my notes on my phone for stuff that I want to do based off of his tricks. Um, anybody else? Alex Lee Brock is always doing the craziest stuff and I've taken a lot of inspiration from things that he does and when we ride back and forth we we come up with weird stuff too because he likes doing saran wraps or tuck no hander one footers it's not all about the lip tricks with me guys I do jumping tricks too <laughs> I just don't post them a lot um Let's see, one more, and literally the biggest one of them all. No, two more, three more, whatever. I'm going to list all of the guys that I ride with or used to ride with. Big JT, Little JT, James, Aaron, Danny, all of you guys, just 
everyone that I ride with, I try and take inspiration from Tristan. Tristan, if you watch this, just know that you inspire me, bro. But the probably the biggest one of them all that I haven't mentioned at all yet is Sponge. I doubt he's going to watch it because he doesn't like the internet. He does watch some of my videos, but whatever. Just know that whenever we're riding, I take a lot of inspiration. I feel like we kind of bounce back and forth off of each other. And a lot of ideas have come from each other. We literally, we're just texting each other. My phone's up here. Uh, we're just texting each other about trick ideas, and that's what we're constantly doing, just constantly bouncing trick ideas off each other. And just last night, we made a deal, or a possible deal, for tricks that we're going to do next time we go to Changa. So, Sponge, you're my inspiration. You're everyone's inspiration, because as everyone knows, he's the greatest rider ever. Basically. Inside joke between him and I and kind of what's going on right now. Either way, uh, sorry for making this so long. I told you I could talk about it for hours. I tried to end it at 12 minutes. Um, we're going to end it right now. Leave your inspiration and influences in the comments below. Leave your suggestions for videos in the comments below. Subscribe because it's free and there's no reason not to. If you're new here, do it. If you've been here a lot and you haven't yet, do it. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.